Hi, it's John. I wanted to bring you along on this beautiful country road walk and to share some of my recent experiences. So it's the weekend now and it's the weekend after my last full time week. So that's really exciting. And it's, it's a really funny feeling to wake up to because I'm on holiday now for a week. We we're not sure what we'll be doing each day, but we'll be spending a little bit of time. We were camping last night. Uh, we'll be a bit of time at home today. And then we'll be going down to our holiday home at the borders to, to rent it out. And so uh, just getting ready to uh, prepare, have some, some do-it-yourself jobs to, to finish. And uh, we have someone um, repairing our fence, which blew down in the storm. So yeah, great to, to see all that just come to uh, its next stage in its cycle and allow people to, to book it in and um, to, to stay. So uh, <laughs> I thought uh, I'd share that um, this, uh, this trip uh, for camping wasn't planned and that we didn't know really what to expect over the weekend. Um, and as a result, I left my guitar, <gasps> shock horror, <laughs> I left it in our holiday home, um, and so I didn't, uh, I didn't bring a guitar with me, <laughs> and I feel like, oh, it's that, it's such a funny feeling. It's like, what am I without a guitar? Um, so the truth is, I'm still John, and here I am, just doing a, a short vlog, um, and yes, yeah, so we had a lovely night last night, and we are. Uh, now just getting ready for uh, not doing too much this week and I had this really strange experience of finishing my last week um, working full-time and so after this week off I have my first three-day week which will be really exciting and then after that I'm going to Vancouver for uh, most of a week I think I fly out on the Sunday um, which is the start of May when I'm heading back on the the Wednesday night and arrive I think the third night in, in Scotland and uh, that'll be an adventure um, I also have a live gig planned yay it has been so long since I played live in, in, a, in a pub um, and it's it's a pub that really doesn't have much internet it's like a very old um, must be hundreds of years old pub. A lot of uh, ghost hunters go there because uh, it's been used for various things in the past. And uh, it's kind of in, in Edinburgh, but it's in the other kind of underground um, where everything's made of stone. So I would love to share some of it live if I can, or get so I can get some recordings on my on my phone. Um, but that'll be super fun. And it's not like normal gigs, if there's such a thing. It's more like where I would be playing in a musician's circle, so there's about 15 different musicians, and together we play for hours. I mean, I think it runs from about 5 to 10 at night. <laughs> um, so I think that would be really good fun. And just looking forward to just being out and meeting people. It's so funny that my first gig out after so long will be with loads of other people. <laughs> it's not just like me turning up, playing a few songs and leaving by myself, which is the very hermit mode of me. Um, and what else is going on? I continue to do uh, darkness clearing and healing and really enjoying those sessions. I also did a, a gift activation session um, yesterday for, for a client, which was, which was also phenomenal. I, re I really enjoyed that. And I find that the variation of every session is, is huge. And it's really great to just try these, these different things, um, to try these different services. And so... The other, oh, I just want to take you down here for a second and show you this field. Um, it looks beautiful. So the other thing I'm thinking of doing, and I have said it before, but I never kind of picked it up, was this um, this weekend or through this week, I'd like to create a membership group to, because I find that when I'm doing the darkness clearing and healing sessions, that the first session is really just the kind of gateway. It's a big gateway for, for many people. And, and for some, it's enough. For some people, 
who are ready to take on the changes that um, that it instigates. They're ready to like go into that self practice and just start meditating every day. Isn't this feel beautiful? Um, I just wanted to share. And yeah, and others, you know, they understand the change and they they feel. Uh, the changes that they go through, and they go through some integration, but they need help with the continued integration. And everyone's experiences after a clearing session are often very different. They're not used to both the changes within themselves, and then also the changes that that kind of invokes in the energies and environment around them. So, yeah, I feel like that a membership group to allow people to to connect with each other and share those experiences and, and share what what tools work for them would be really helpful. I also created a free like daily meditation and it, it's this guided meditation. It's under 10 minutes and it allows anyone to um, just set up their protection for the day and then they can do so through the evening as well if they wish. And one client found this really useful. Like They, they were really struggling with just negative feelings and anger and they found that this protection that they were setting up every day uh, it sounds like a bird over there um setting up their protection every day was really beautiful because it allowed them to really just to clear those those feelings like they couldn't understand like why am i feeling so angry why am i feeling like these strong emotions and when you set yourself up with protection each day it you're really sending a message to any energies and entities around you to say, look, no, I do not give you permission. You must leave me, leave my space, leave my loved ones. And just allowing people to build up their own energy, their self-confidence, their ability to, to clear out the space around them and to take sovereignty of themselves. And I know it's a, it's a huge help for me. It's been a huge help for my son as well. Um, it's very similar to what we do uh, every every evening before we go to bed and really helps us in dream time so yeah uh, I'll look more into like a membership group and I'll also look into uh, some more guided meditations just to allow people to uh, just to get through um, into their, like, their, their daily practices and um, and quite, like, I love the idea that it can be short, like 10 minutes, you know, who, who doesn't have 10 minutes or who can't get up 10 minutes earlier <laughs> in the day to, to just, you know, connect in with themselves, clear your mind, clear the space around you, set up some protection and uh, set the intention for the day. So yeah, that's, uh, that's something you expect to see uh, more to come. Um, and what else is going on? Uh, I think that's about it. <laughs> I feel like um, after these after these next two to three weeks, as I'm going through, um, you know, the, the changes in our holiday and then work and then um, and then my travel, um, I'll begin to just settle into that extra space uh, where uh, we have um, we have an offer on another house uh, to uh, to move into. Um, to downsize we hear about that on thursday so we'll see what happens uh, it's a beautiful home and you know downsizing isn't really a fair thing to say it's still a great size it's still beautiful and um the kids would kids would really love to, i can't say it the kids would really love to live there so that would be cool and um yeah we'll see what happens there if we don't get it we don't get it if we do get it we'll likely head home and um, just set up our, uh, our, our home for getting ready to, to sell. Things are selling really fast within days, within two weeks, people are selling their houses here. So we, we know we won't have a problem selling, but we want to make sure it's cleared up and looking good. And what else? Um, yeah. And we, we've just been like doing things like uh, clearing out our, our home physically. So tidying. Um, it's amazing what a difference just an hour makes, you know, in the garden or getting rid of junk that we no longer have a use for in, in the home and like donating it to, to charity. So 
yeah, there's, there's more to do with that, which I find really therapeutic as well. I think it helps a lot energetically as much as physically. And yeah, looking forward to some new music. Um, I'm going to invest in like a small portable um, recording desk that I can take uh, really, really small. That I can take traveling and I can take in the motome. I take it outside. It runs on batteries too. So that'd be great just to like, go out in nature and record songs um, and not to kind of over over technology it <laughs> i don't know if that's really a term um but yeah and looking forward to sharing more with you guys so thank you so much for watching uh, wishing you all a beautiful happy easter and i hope you um yeah have a great weekend thank you so much send my love take care